Good morning, Curly Hair Jazz here. If you're new, hi, my name is Jasmine, and welcome to my channel. But if you aren't new or you've seen my face before, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a vlog. I know I don't really do these on my channel, but I'm going to start doing more of these because they're actually fun to film. But yeah, so today I'll be doing a productive day in my life because I have a lot to do today. I already made my list so I don't forget what I have to do or what I want to get done today. I woke up late, but not as late as last time. Like I know last time I did that vlog, a day in my life, I woke up like two hours late. I woke up today at two hours late. Wow, okay, so um, definitely forgot about time. So I was supposed to be up today at 8.30. Well, really eight, but I was like, I know I'm not gonna get up at eight when I went to sleep at like four. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna give myself to like 8.30, maybe nine. Um, it's okay though because i could still get done with what i had to get done today you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go ahead and get started because the earlier i get started the better so i'm just gonna go ahead and head to my bathroom and get my morning routine kind of thing out of the way okay guys so i'm in the bathroom now um this is a weird angle this is not an angle that i usually do because i don't usually talk while i'm in the bathroom but we're talking today um i had to throw a jacket on because it was just entirely too cold in my house it did feel good at the same time but i had the tank top on so i had to put something on okay back to the ac thing though i don't know if it's just me but i'd be like thinking about like random stuff by like random times but 75 degrees in a house is cold but when we go outside 75 degrees is hot how does that make sense Anyways, so um, I have two broken nails right now. My pinky on this side broke really far down to the point where it broke my natural nail off like at least 20%. And then on this one, which I have the band-aid on, it's split as well. I'm gonna insert pictures that I took, but this is like a little trigger warning. They're kind of gross. It hurt so bad to the point where I had to super glue it back together and put this band-aid on. Let me tell y'all about this mouthwash actually before I even put it in my mouth. Um, it's the Thera Breath. This one is the Rainforest Mint. I'm warning you now, don't get the reinforcement. It's just too strong. It literally has me contemplating my life every time I put it in my mouth. Okay, breath feeling good, breath tasting good, breath smelling good. Now, of course, we have to do skincare. I did just do a video on because I told you guys I was going to use it consistently for about 30 days so we can see some actual results. I'm not going to lie, I have seen a couple of my pimples like under my eye area clear up, so that's good. finished like my morning routine area um i'm not gonna get ready ready like clothes on that i'm wearing outside of the house until that time comes but i do have a few things i want to do before i leave the house which include like laundry cleaning my room and i did get these organization bins that i want to put together so i can organize all of my business stuff because it's a hot mess anyway so we're gonna get into that stuff i think the first thing i want to do is get my laundry sorted out so i can get them washing so they're washing throughout the day and will be finished by the time i'm done with the video i'm about to start sorting out my clothes so i can get them in the washing machine dryer and all that good stuff like the cycle roll while i'm doing whatever else i need to do today i'm letting you know now you're going to be disappointed i have not washed my clothes in like a month i don't really know why i haven't washed my clothes there's really no justification as to why my clothes are literally piled up in my closet right now and there's some clothes over there but it's okay because we're getting it all clean today wow that's gonna use a lot of laundry detergent sorry mom let's start sorting
yeah five piles so we can go ahead and just start putting these in the washing machine one by one i was going to clean my room next but two things happened now my floor literally has a pile of clothes literally on half of my room and my mom bought a bird cage the other day for my two parakeets i'm going to help her put that up and come back to finish what i have to do for the day but before i go um i did have a surprise i'm really excited for the surprise i did kind of already tell people i did buy me a camera the other day and it's supposed to be here today i did buy the canon g7x mark ii i bought like the video creator bundle i got it on amazon i will have the link in the description if you guys wanted to purchase so yes i'm super excited it's supposed to come today actually let me see when it's supposed to come okay so it's a, it's loading it's loading y'all it's loading 10 p.m okay it's out for delivery but it says um arriving by 10 and i know that's like an estimate but i need it now like because i have stuff to do today like i wanted to get a bigger tripod because the one that comes with it is like this big and i need something bigger i also wanted to get a screen protector and a car mount because i'm going to be doing more car videos for you guys anyways enough of me talking let me go ahead and help my mom set up the bird cage and i'll show you guys what it looks like after and you guys get to meet kiki and kiki for the first time okay y'all so we have the new one it is a big big difference from the old one that i'll show you guys in a second so this is what the old one looks like um it was enough when we got it y'all okay so i know i just said um that i don't know why they're always in there so i got curious and i shined a light in the little bird cage and she just i see eggs in there eggs so they've been in here hunching mom you're so loud okay um look at her i wish you okay you can kind of see them okay you see them Y'all, oh my goodness. We were wondering why she was always in there. Okay, so I got three different types of organization drawers. Um, they're all from the same brand and from the same store. I got it from Michaels. They're about $118 total, but I got three different types, like kind of sizes, just to see what I can do with this and how much it will hold. I already put one together um just to see how big and how tall it was gonna be now i decided to wait for this one and this one to do a camera for this video exactly i guess i'll start with this one only because i already kind of opened it
I just realized I did this wrong. Hey, why does it look like that? No, okay, so I'm back and I fixed it. And I didn't have to take it apart. The only thing I had to do was unscrew these four screws and flip it because I had this part upside down while these were still good. So that's a good thing. Now I'm about to put the drawers in. Okay y'all, so we finished this one and I noticed that this one is like shorter and wider compared to the one with all small drawers, like all of these drawers. It is taller. I don't know if it's gonna fit in the frame, but yeah, it is a little taller, but that's okay. Now we're about to do the last drawer set and then get to the organization part. Okay, so now I have all of them done and and they look like they're gonna be pretty spacious for everything I need to put in them. Super excited for that and relieved because I thought I was gonna have to spend like 40 more dollars for another one. Now we're gonna go ahead and sort out the mess that is behind those boxes that are behind me and get the stuff into the containers. Okay, so just a little update on what's going on right now. I do have most of what I needed to put in the containers in the containers right now. Just a couple here and there's that aren't put up yet, but it'll get done, duh. It is getting late and I do need to go to the store. Like I was saying earlier, I need to go to UPS to return my school book that I got, which is the wrong edition, but funny story on that. Let me tell you what happened. So basically I bought the book when the syllabus came out, which was of course before the class started. And I thought I got the right one, but it turns out I didn't. I didn't realize till last night when I was doing my homework that is due today that I have the seventh edition when it requires the eighth edition. I don't know how I got it mixed up. I promise you, I literally copied and pasted what the title of the book was to Amazon and just clicked the first thing that I saw. Don't do that because clearly that didn't get me far. But yeah, so um, I went through the return process on Amazon to get it returned and I just have to take it to UPS for the refund to settle on my account. I was about to buy the pdf version because the actual like hardcover book wasn't going to be able to be here in time for me to complete the assignment on time and she does not play about that late work but it was only 18 dollars, not bad but i was like let me just see if there's a free version out here like i don't know maybe somebody feeling generous and they were after 10 minutes of looking there was somebody who had the pdf link clicked on it did my work and i'm good i'll be using that link for the rest of the class so i just saved myself 125 dollars so i have to go to ups to you know drop off the book and then i need to go by walmart like i think i was saying in the beginning of this video just to see if they have a camera case a screen protector the tripod as well as the car mount that i need so i can start doing my car videos the camera is still not here it did say by 10 p.m which sucks because I wanted to be able to start the rest of the video maybe on the camera. Probably not. I just wanted to be able to open it on camera, which I still will do if it does come later tonight. It says between 6, 15, and 10. It's already out for delivery. So yeah, that's just what's going on right now. I'm about to go ahead and get ready so I can go to the store and head back home before it gets too late and finish up the organization. So I wanted to go check the temperature that was outside and I don't know what possessed Florida to be so cold today, but but it's cold. Um, my hair has been in this slick bag for about two days, but it's okay because I did just get a package from Amazon, which of course wasn't the camera. And it was this sponsorship I'm supposed to be doing for this hair company. So my hair is going to be in a protective style for probably a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. 
that's pushing it but it just might happen due to my procrastination so i'm just slapping on some um eco styler gel uh, i would use my gel but i don't want to only because i'm about to wash it out as soon as i get back home i just need my hair to look somewhat like i'm not homeless oh that reminds me i need to answer my emails i think i have another sponsorship package coming today maybe later tonight this camera is about to die so i'm gonna be having it charged while i am on the way to the places so again no car videos but after today Today, after this video, we will be having our little car chronicles. Eek, I'm so excited. Got my hair done, I'm about to go to the store and I will see you guys when I get to UPS and Walmart. Okay y'all, so I just made it to Walmart and you already know my beef with these masks. I literally hate them, but you gotta do what you gotta do out here in the streets. I'm going to be heading to the technology area, electronics, whatever they call it, to look for some accessories for my camera that has still not made it to the house. But it's okay because hopefully it'll be there by the time I get back. If not, we're gonna continue doing what we have to do for today because today is our productive day. Okay, so I'm in here now and this is the exact tripod I was talking about. It's the flexible tripod by one. We'll be getting that and then I think it'll be smart to get another SD card because it comes with a 64 gigabyte but knowing me I'm gonna have like nine hours of footage so it's only right. So I'm looking for one of those and then what else did I say? Like a screen protector but I don't think I'm gonna be able to find one here so I'll probably have to get it offline. I think that was it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find the case here either. Oh, I need to get a car mount too. But I feel like there's more than what's over here. Like it's not giving what it said it was supposed to give. Okay, so I wasn't able to find the screen protector, a case or a car mount, but I did see some on Amazon. So when I get back home, I'm gonna go ahead and order it. And yeah, but I do have some other groceries to get out of here, which is what I'm heading to do now. And of course, since I'm in the store, this will be the time that my mother wants to send me a list, but it's okay because it's gonna benefit me too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that and then head back home and I will see you guys. I just got back in the car from Walmart and I'm about to head home, but I'm really having this decision right now if um, I should go to Starbucks. I know it's not the smartest decision, but when did I ever understand the words save money? I just it just goes in one ear and out the other so i'm thinking and the why is there just a creepy man just staring into my car as he walks by anyways um yeah i really want to go to starbucks but i know i should not but it's just like that urge like i don't know speaking of coffee though i did when i was in walmart i um saw the fruity pebbles creamer that everybody was trying and i didn't want to be left out so i bought it too i have the taste for breakfast food like i know it's six o'clock in the afternoon but yeah when i get home i'm probably gonna eat a bagel oh i did just buy some new cream cheese the only one that i ever get which is the brown sugar and cinnamon i believe chef's kiss i think i have actually talked myself out of getting starbucks so thank you guys for tuning into my ted talk now i'm going home I can explain. Actually, no, I can't. There really isn't any justification as to why I'm holding a Starbucks cup in my hand. I just, I really just could not resist it. Like, I literally spent $12 on two of the same drinks. It's just not really affecting me. It's affecting my bank account, yeah, but me, no. But I'm back home now and my mom finished organizing everything for me. So big thanks to my mom. My camera still not here but i'm gonna go ahead and order the accessories that i didn't get from walmart online on amazon and then i have some emails to answer so i'll go ahead and answer those and i already posted the tiktok i was supposed to post today so i think we're pretty good okay so so far we've accomplished a lot today like i got the main thing out of the way right now everything else is just something that i can't physically do i just have to wait for it to do its thing you know what i'm saying i just have to you know keep the cycle going but i'm gonna go ahead and answer emails i was supposed to answer like two days ago sorry guys and maybe hop on some homework i'm not really sure yet because my camera is literally it could be here at any time and i kind of want to like dedicate the ending of this video to that i also have to get some tax information sent over to my accountant so i can get my taxes filed as well as maybe a stimulus check 
I haven't got the other one, so I doubt I'll get this one, but if I do, period. And yeah, so basically I have a lot of content I'm supposed to be filming and this camera is going to come in handy for my YouTube side and then my phone is still going to be in handy for my TikTok side. Enough of me talking, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the things that I said I had to do and then when the camera gets here is when I pick up this camera again. Y'all, so it came. I'm not going to lie, I was too excited to turn the camera on and show the unboxing, but this is everything out of the box. It came with a lot and especially the SD card I was talking about that that I definitely forgot to get from Walmart. But it's okay, I'll just go get it tomorrow. This tripod that it came with is something that I could use, like. Okay y'all, so I just finished setting up the camera. The only problem is I messed around and put New York time zone instead of like my time zone. So the time is showing an hour ahead when that's not the correct time, of course. The butterflies that are in my stomach right now, I'm just, I'm already in love y'all. Like y'all just don't understand. This is all I wanted. Like <laughs> I don't care about anything else right now. This is all I care about. But um, I do have a one year warranty on it. I do need to go ahead and register that because if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna do that at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the SIM card, or not SIM card, SD card. I don't know where the SD card goes. I feel like it goes right here, but it's not opening. I don't wanna force it open. Okay, so I found out where it goes and I put it in. It goes where the battery is. I'm gonna turn it back on and hopefully well i gotta get used to like when it turns on this pops out so i can't be covering it but let's just get into the fact that my videos are finna be so oh my goodness i'm just overly grateful y'all like y'all just don't understand but one thing i do gotta get used to is looking into the lens instead of at the viewfinder which shouldn't be a problem because when i'm looking in the viewfinder i can tell that i look really weird looking up instead of at the camera so they're probably like what is she even looking at okay so me being me of course i didn't press record as i was recording that last part on the camera so here i am doing the outro and then on top of that i didn't realize that i would have to configure in the settings of my mac in order to get the sd card to sync to my computer so therefore that footage on the new camera was also deleted i can't really too much dwell on it you let me learn but now i know and the videos from now on will definitely be better quality and it will be on that new camera that i bought i wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video i really really hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming and editing it. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below what was your favorite part. How was your day? Did you eat? If you didn't, go eat right now. Share this video with a friend. And last but not least, subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful night, morning, day, whatever time it is where you are. And until next time, this is Curly Hijaz and I'm signing out. Bye.